What's going on YouTube day back again and today we're going to be taking a look at well 12 of my favorite items to use with the Osmo Pocket. So as some of you know, I like using all kinds of different camera equipment and earlier this year, well actually it was around December, I ended up managing to get an Osmo Pocket uh, for myself for around Christmas time and I played around with it. I have a bunch of videos and stuff that I've done in the cam and uh, as they've done updates it has become well a lot more fun to use. So I've been picking up all kinds of accessories for it and I there's some that I've just either given away or I've sent back because they just didn't work for my purposes. So this is going to be just my overview real quick and then I will be posting up individual videos. Some of them are going to be really short. Some of them are going to be more involved like well, my newest accessory right here, the Wireless Go. This thing is so freaking awesome. So as some of you know, the Osmo Pocket is really small and a lot of people complain, uh, you know, they're purchasing third party cases and stuff. Man, I think that the case that they provide with it works just fine. I've had no issues with it. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if you didn't know when you turn it off, this will lock the gimbal into place for sliding it in, but it only does it for like 12 seconds. Um, otherwise, it just flops around. I thought I'd throw that in as a quick little tip. You guys have probably seen this a couple times in my videos. This is the Photo Pro UFO 2. This is the second rendition of it, and I actually have a version that's only about that tall, and I use that one as well. This thing, uh, again, I might do another review on it, but I've already done one in the past. If I remember to, I'll put a link right up there to that video. And uh, there will be links down below if you want to check it out and any of these other accessories. But one of the things I really, really like about this is if I'm using this with one of my other cameras or even with the pocket over there, what I end up doing is I end up grabbing it like this, fold the arm over, fold the arm over, fold the arm over, and then it locks it onto your wrist. So if you're doing something crazy or, well, in my case, stupid and hanging your arm over the side of a ship, um, you actually, it's not going to go anywhere. And you actually have dexterity in both hands if you need to. Otherwise, you can hold it steady. Or if you need to open a door or do something like that, well, you've got some, you know, options there. So I really like this. I like this a lot better than the Joby Gorilla Pods and things like that because those wear out fairly quickly. And once the arms pop apart, they just, they're never the same again. Um, so yeah, this is going to be probably my number one pick. So this I actually ended up being sent and I actually fell in love with it. Um, this is a telescoping selfie stick. That came with a whole bunch of accessories. You have a camera mount. You have, you actually have a controller on here for, it does Bluetooth control. So you can control like taking a picture with or video with your camera if it's attached. Um, I haven't tried to see if I can do Bluetooth with this to the, the pocket, but this comes in handy if I'm just using my camera. Uh, this actually extends out a long way. It's got some Good little feet on here, but I will do a full review on that. And the best part is this doesn't take batteries. There's a little charging cable, a little controller. Yeah, it's kind of awesome. So one of my must have accessories is going to be this guy right here. And this is going to be a case for your Osmo Pocket. Now they actually make two different sizes and I'm going to order the larger size just so I can shove more accessories in there, uh, like one of the, the handles and stuff. Uh, so the foam comes out and the Osmo is going to slip in here. You can stick memory cards or your lenses. You can stick the uh, control tabs that go into the Osmo in here. And it is a nice hard shell case that is water resistant. I don't know about waterproof. I haven't dunked it completely underwater, um, but it is going to keep it from getting banged up. Uh, super cheap. I think this one's like 12 bucks and the larger versions like 19 bucks. I again will have links down below to be able to check them out. But this is definitely one of my great accessories. Like I said, the case on the on the Osmo Pocket is great for shoving in your pocket. But if you're wanting to take accessories and stuff, you definitely want something durable like this. Next up is going to be these guys. These are going to be screen protectors that go over this screen and that lens. But but 
Um, I haven't found one yet that you can put the protective lens over this and then be able to use the add-on lenses like the ND filters or the wide angle lenses, anything like that. It Even though they're really thin, it pushes it out just a little too far and the magnets just don't hold. So um, I got this for a cover on this because, well, because it's a touch screen, it will end up affecting that. And so, yeah. But the good part is this was only uh, $4.99 and there are a bunch of companies that end up making them, but this one was the cheapest one and they seem pretty durable. Next up on the list and probably one of the most expensive, well, no, I can't say that these were the most expensive, but these can be used with multiple things. The most expensive actual uh, DJI option thing that I ended up getting is this and this is the Osmo Pocket wireless module. Now you can use this for charging it as a base but you can also connect through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to the Osmo remotely from your phone. And I did a video and I, as in the review, I'll end up showing you guys, I got at least 12 feet away. You can get further, but you need to be within line of sight. Uh, it depends on whether you use the Bluetooth or the Wi-Fi, but again, stay tuned. There will be an actual review and durability on this guy. By the way, I think this was $52 on Amazon. I think it was something like that. No matter how or where you end up getting it, it's going to be expensive. My next DJI option, and this is completely stupid because this, this was 40 some odd dollars. 40 some odd dollars. Really DJI? Um, this is a USB-C to microphone jack and many people have tried many knockoffs, many kind of workarounds, things like that, and none of them end up working with microphones. Uh, again, I have a video that I'll be posting up, the review of this, of using it with a small shotgun mic, which is a Rode, a Movo mic, uh, the lavalier mic, and then with the Wireless Go. Wireless Go is my favorite option for, for that, so, and yeah. My next option that's going to be, well, pretty much a necessity is going to be ND filters. It doesn't matter who you end up getting them from. These ones are, I don't know what the brand is, RC style, I believe is the brand. Um, but there's a bunch of different ones that are made out there. Uh, I like these because they have a nice coating on both sides. They don't seem to give any aberration or anything like that. And this one actually has five lenses in it and the case is big enough to be able to stick my wide angle lens. But if you're gonna be doing filming outside, uh, I would definitely pick up one of these. I think it comes in four, eight, 12, 16, 32, and then there is actually a polarized lens, um, which has a slight tint to it, which works really well when filming anything with water or high reflections to knock those off. And staying with lenses, this is gonna be the Alonzi OP5 Osmo Pocket Wide Angle Lens. And there's a couple of different companies that are making them. Uh, I think Polar Pro makes one. But I actually watched uh, a lot of different videos and I got a Polar Pro one. And comparing the, the video quality of this one versus that one, no matter what, when you use a wide angle lens on this section over here, you're going to get um, kind of some fisheye effect and it's not going to be clear on this section when you're filming with it. Um, but this one seemed to give more of a radius toward the center and just a little bit of aberration up here in the corner and stuff. So unless you're filming something that's really high detail, uh, you're not going to notice, it, especially if you're doing outside. And this makes a world of difference when you're holding it about this far away and you pretty much only have your face in the shot. Putting this on is going to give you more of a field of view and just make your videos that better quality. Next up, this is from Olanzi as well. And this is a little base that has a USB-C on this side, this side, and this side. So of course, this is going to plug into the Osmo Pocket and the Osmo Pocket locks into there fairly well. Um, I, I know that there is a clip for the wireless base, the wireless base, it sits in there, but I wouldn't trust putting the attachment and then onto a tripod. I've heard too many stories of people having it fall out of the clip. This one has a nice coating on the inside of it and it seems to lock on pretty well. The downside before I even get to the review is I need to let you know is from my testing and other people that I've ended up seeing, 
you cannot plug something into this side and this side at the, and have them work at the same time. So you can't plug it like a power bank into this side and then your microphone into this side. But it does have a connection at the bottom to attach it to a tripod or selfie stick. And I like this because I can plug my microphone, which is this guy. You can't get away of the size of it. Instead of this hanging off of the bottom straight down, you can plug this in to the side over here and then have your cable running up to your cold shoe for these guys. So I think this was $7.99, something like that. Uh, again, I can't stress it enough. There are links down in the bottom. I appreciate you guys clicking on those. But yeah, so this is the Alonzi double uh, OP2. And I think all their things have OP something or other on there, um, which I think the OP stands for Osmo Pocket. But yeah, um, desktop charger, whatever charger, and you can use it on whichever side. It would be cool if you could use both sides, but I just don't think it's set up that way inside. But pretty cool. All right, next we're getting to the options. So this is the PGY Tech uh, Osmo phone and Osmo pocket uh, holder. It says have a cold shoe on here. And if we slide it out, the packaging, I was really impressed. Now they make two different ones of these. They make one that folds up and then they make this one. Uh, this holds on to the um, Osmo very well in here. In fact, if I just slide it in, it kind of locks onto there, but the downside is once it's on there and your phone's attached to it, you're kind of limited on your space that's down here. And we're going to get to another, which is, I like a lot, lot better uh, case, but this one was fairly cheap. Uh, it does have a cold shoe mount up here, so you can mount a microphone on here. This holds up to, I don't know, iPhone 16s, I don't, pretty damn big. You do have a port down here to be able to attach your tripod to for turning it into a selfie. And so, yeah, this locks in very well. You don't necessarily have to have your phone connected to it, but it's there. And yeah, so this one was actually the first one that I ended up purchasing right when it came out and before any of the others were out. And it's worked very well for me. But let me show you what I ended up upgrading to. So this guy right here, this is the Z, uh, Z Tylus, I always, I can't even say that right, uh, Cinema Osmo Pocket Kit. Now, I'm not for sure. I thought I saw on the website that these were made in America, um, all CNC'd and everything. But, so you get your base, which holds your camera. And the nice thing is this, if you notice on here, it has the notches. This is actually made to be able to fit into an Arca Swiss mount, which I like I have the big camera over there or the camera over there or another camera that's over there. So this will clip right into there. Super nice that they actually end up having that. Um, the sticky pads or they're not sticky, but the rubberized pads that are on here, they are fairly nice. Uh, I haven't had any issues with peeling up. If you pull them on your thumb, they're, they're going to, of course, but haven't had any issues yet and you get nice beefy screws all the way around. The only downside is going to be this handle. Uh, in this other baggie, you get this, and you get the two screws and the Allen key, and you do get a one year warranty. Uh, these others, you don't get any warranty. You get the like 14 day Amazon, oh crap it broke, and you're screwed. But this does have a one year warranty, and I do really like that fact. Um, so this is the cinema mount. They do make this just for phones. So you don't have to do the Osmo, um, Osmo thing on here. This is all aluminum metal. Some of this is stainless steel uh, or it seems like stainless steel, but they touted up most of it is aluminum, but it's nice heavy duty. So you get the two Allen screws, which is going to lock this arm down on there. And I guess the original one, there was issues with the arm where the, the Osmo pocket didn't lock in there very well, but this seems to hold it fairly well. And a couple of people said that this wore down after, I don't know how many uses, but they just stuck a little bit of more foam in there and it worked just fine. But what I like this for is once it's on, you have this full base bottom open. You can attach your wireless, you can attach 
this guy and then have your cable running to the whatever microphone, whether it be a shotgun microphone, whether it be something like this. And it, this, this has to be my favorite. But like I said on for a downside on here, is going to be this guy. This guy is a beast. This is a solid block of aluminum and this probably weighs, I don't even know where my scale is. I will weigh it when I end up doing the review on it, but this is a good chunk of weight. With this, with this, with this, with this, and then your camera, that's, you might as well have something like uh, the Sony a6000 or the RX100, something like that. Um, so. This does have an attachment to uh, be able to attach to a tripod, but personally myself, I would end up using something like this or something like this to be a, to attach to this. And both of these options are going to be a lot lighter. And if you have small hands, this is going to be fine. You can see I have like big hands, so I guess that kind of works, but I just wish it was a little bit longer and I wish they had just done like hollow aluminum or something like that or even plastic. I mean, I understand that it's an American company or at least I think it's an American company and the quality is great all the way around, but damn, this thing right here, you can just pull it off and hit someone in the head with it and knock them the hell out. And now you know why I'm doing separate videos because if I did one, this would be like two hours long. As it is, this is probably going to be a longer video than I wanted it to be. All right, so the, 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 my favorite thing of all, and I just ended up getting this last week. I've been testing it out with all my different cameras that have a microphone jack, and that is going to be the Rode Wireless Go. Now, let me show you just a little bit. So if you look up reviews, you'll complain or you'll see complaints that people had that this guy, which is the little windsock for it, um, did not secure very well in the second generation that they ended up coming out with or shipping. They actually fixed that issue. So you get a little dead cat on here and it looks like a little bunny tail. But what you get, get in here is everything is USB-C chargeable. Um, and I have, I've already stuck some accessories because I've been using this. This is the USB dongle for my phone. Though usually I, in one of the racks I, for the Osmo Pocket, I have a, I have an iPhone 6S, I believe, something like that, that I use just strictly for my Osmo Pockets. Uh, you get this, which is a TRRS to a TRS connection. You will end up needing this if you're wanting to uh, connect this to a smartphone or if you're wanting to use the, uh, which I have, the Rode Smart Lab Plus, and that actually has a TRRS plug on it, and it will not work if you're plugging it into a TRS. Difference is, is there's three bands versus two bands. Yeah, so that's the issue with that. So these are the accessories. It does come with this, which is going to go from the Osmo to the recording devices and these these are it now i haven't even taken off the plastic because well i'm kind of anal that way um so you have two different two different things here and if i kick on this one which it should be charged up you can see there is that it automatically pairs with this guy and look automatically now this does have a microphone in it automatically but you can plug in a shotgun mic a regular mic uh, any kind of mic like that and it ends up working a lav mic but the nice thing is that you can clip this to your shirt and then this can be up to i think it's like 120 feet line of sight uh, if you turn your back with this attached with this attached to you and you turn away at that kind of distance, it's going to actually end up cutting out. But if you're facing uh, your camera with this on, this will work up to 120 feet. Now, I don't know who does something like that, sets up a camera and all of that. But yeah, uh, so this automatically dims and you can change the setting to where it automatically turns it off. But you have a live meter on here and that's picking up my voice just from this yeah um, it shows you your power both for this unit and for the uh, this unit over here on here and it touts for I believe it's a seven hour battery life on here 
super awesome. You can't change out the batteries on there, so that's the bad part, but yeah, super awesome. And if you're using this, the nice thing is these little clips that you can use to clip onto things, they design to attach into the cold shoes, which is why I have so many cold shoes attached to everything. This is super awesome. I can't wait to show you guys how this ends up working because I've used it on several different videos and I thought about doing it on this one, but I just, I chose against it. It's kind of hard to film using this and showing it. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. All right, boys and girls, I hope that was informative and kind of helpful to somebody. Like I said, stay tuned. Um, I'm going to have individual videos showing you how each one of these things end up working and my actual breakdown and thoughts on each one, whether it's worth your money or not. And of course, obviously they are, they all have a purpose and I've kept them. I haven't sent them back and I am the first, if I get a piece of crap, I'm going to send it back right away because well, I want my money back. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys all in the next video. If you like this video and you want to see more techie stuff like this, uh, click that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.